Hey, this is Lula, and this is the series where we look at the most expensive house for sale in each state. We are in little Kentucky today, where I uh, I had to go past a $25 million property uh, that was uh, several houses on the same property. Uh, so I have had a peek at the description on this one to make sure I wasn't in the same situation. And this promises to be the most architecturally unique property in uh in kentucky which i don't i don't know how much of a promise that is i think it might be like uh like advertising yourself as the most liberal city in kentucky uh so that's that's sort of my my <laughs> expectation there anyway this is uh 12 million five eight beds nine baths and uh for those of you living in uh, more more civilized climes let's say uh that's that's a lot of money in kentucky dollars uh kentucky and uh, the south in general do not operate on the same uh monetary basis as a lot of other places so let's see what you can get for 12 million five in kentucky i mean at first glance this is an intimidatingly large opulent property these shrubs are so round this is a, a long intimidating walkway to go up to get to this front door which is obviously some sort of modernist mcmansion take on the neoclassical columns something i don't know nope oh, here's the back of the house which this is giving like uh french chateau vibes or something like that and then we've got this pool with a diving board and a slide. That's fun. People are having fun at this pool. All right. Uh, we got sitting areas around. This is a wide open swaths of concrete uh, surrounded by wide open swaths of grass. But, you know, at least for once, we are in the natural habitat of Kentucky bluegrass. So uh, we at least know that it's, it's not totally irresponsible water use to keep that going. Oh, we got a jacuzzi tub over here, raised, not built in. That's uh, a little plebeian, but you know what? That's, I think we're going to have some, some little touches of lack of culture here, which is, which is the Kentucky culture. You know, we're, we're going to, we're going to be seeing those little Kentucky touches in the form of a lack of culture. Looks like there might be a, a kitchen or bar station in the pool house. All right, and up the back stairs onto this uh, very opulent looking patio. Every, everything about this seems like very high society opulence. I assume that's a top of the line grill. What kind of cracks me up here, and it's, it's not necessarily in a bad way, is that this, like I still am getting these French Chateau vibes where it's, you know, this, this grand, parquet that you know your your guests sit up here and have dinner parties on but then when you look around it it's you're so clearly in kentucky so it, it's it's a little out of place in the geography um it, it, it's as if you you popped a mini versailles down in the middle of kentucky i don't know that i hate that it, it's a little it's a little funky, it's a little mismatched, but it's, it's, I don't know. I, I find it a little cute. I, I am heartened by the fact that there's brown grass here because um, if anyone is, is unfamiliar, what Kentucky bluegrass is actually designed to do is it's, it's green in, in the spring and early summer and then, and then in the fall. Uh, it's obviously dormant in the winter, but it's also dormant in the in the middle of summer in the hottest months. It goes brown. It's it's meant to do that, and so they're not artificially like keeping it green. Um, that that tells me they're not out here watering the lawn. Good for them. Big old garage. This I think is the view from the front door. These are the columns on either side. Looks like we got maybe like a statue or a fountain or something going in there. We got the circle drive. All right, here we are inside the house. I think this is the front. Oh, yeah, we are looking at the front door now. We've got a lot of horse shit going on here. This is that. I assume that's supposed to be a horse based on the context of these both being horses, but the head looks 
very wrong to me. Is it, it looks like a like a hippogriff or something? Um, all right. Well, I mean, we are we are in Kentucky, home of the Kentucky Derby, so I guess we're gonna get a lot of horse girl vibes out of here. And and at the very least, uh, I'm not getting the aggressively masculine horse girl vibes that I got in Kansas. This seems maybe a little more open to the existence of women. Oh, that's... <laughs> that's so much horse shit. Oh my God, we got horses on every wall. We got three horse, four. We got four horses on this wall. We've got at least three. I can't see if that's a horse. I suspect it might be a horse. <laughs> We've got these two weird, okay, so this, I was so distracted by the horses. This sitting arrangement is bizarre. Um, so I obviously we've got the too much floor space, and so we've had to create multiple sitting areas in, in one room. But the fact that these two chairs are just like hanging out here staring at the front door um, I assume, you know what, that's, that's where your parents sit when you've, when you've stayed out too late and they're like, you were supposed to be home at 10, young lady. All right, let's, I'm, I'm excited to see these knickknacks up closer. All right, we got, this is kind of like a foyer table. We got benches around it though. Are you eating at this table? Are you sitting at this table with all these statues on it? Are these all, I don't think those are all horses. Um, this is so strange. This goes out onto that patty. The the fact that the outside of this house looks so like regal and posh, and then you come inside and it's like fucking horses. That's I'm I'm loving it. I love this. <laughs> oh God, there's so many horse. There's there's more. I assume these are like pictures of the track over here. Um. Two horse statues on either side of the mantelpiece, of course. Uh, here's here's a little one of our little sitting areas. Here we got we got those drag the gargoyle lions here. Um, I think that's this is like is this the lion area? We got another lion on the table. All these tapestry. Oh, we got dogs. This is the dog wall. These two walls were for horses and this wall is for dogs. We've got the two uh, gargoyle lions just guarding the dog wall with a single horse statue in the middle. <laughs> oh, this is, this is pure comedy to me. This is so funny. Oh my God, it's, there's a horse in the fireplace. There's a horse in the fireplace. I can't cope with that. What are these obelisk things? Why are there obelisks on the table? There's another horse. There's another horse. I'm, I'm overwhelmed. I'm, I'm like, I'm like a child that just got unexpectedly dropped into Disneyland. There's too much stimulus coming at me from every angle. All right. Oh, of course we got two of these horses here. This, this room is so, it's, it's so busy. I like, I can't even identify what's happening on the floor in here. This, this picture doesn't even fit on this piece of wall. They're hanging it from the base of the balcony. All right, here's the kitchen. Oh, there's, <laughs> there's horses on the wall in the kitchen. It's just outside the kitchen. That's fine. Those are, <laughs> those are fine. Um, I'm fine. This is fine. Uh, we got this kind of circular operation. We, we got the sandbar here, but it seems like more of a functional sandbar. Like this is actually, we got, we got the stove and the dishwasher and the sink. So this is actually more, I, I'm curious to see where the refrigerator ended up. I have a feeling it's going to be disguised. This might be a, through to a pantry there. Um, yes, we have, we have a disguise, a huge refrigerator disguised as as a piece of cabinet uh, because you can't let them know you eat you can't let them know you eat uh, we got our stoves we got two toaster ovens how much how much toast are you making at once you gotta you gotta be able to make two bags of pizza rolls at the same time we got two dishwashers also this seems like a good house for people that can't share 
Oh my god. All right, we got a giant horse head in the middle of this table. I don't even is this a dining room? Is it a breakfast is it an oversized breakfast nook? There's this random chair sitting here. What is this over the fireplace? I I I feel like it's going to be something um evangelical. That's the sense that I get. Uh, I, I don't know why, but I, I associate strong horse girl tendencies with an evangelical uh, tilt, especially when, when paired with this level of wealth. We got more horse statues. We're just surrounded by fucking horse statues. Here's where those dogs on the wall get to sleep. Is that another horse? That's another horse statue. That's a rabbit. Thank God we got something other than a horse. It's a rabbit. Uh, this is... A horse hallway. We've got more horse figurines. We've got a third dishwasher. How many dishes do you have to do? Oh my god. We've got a jade horse. Of course we do. We've got more knickknacks. I, I think this is just like a, a certain... Hallways like this are usually supposed to be like prep and serving and dishwashing areas to, you know, between the kitchen and the formal dining room. But you've got no counter space or surface area to actually do any food prep in here because everything's covered with knickknacks and fucking horses. We got a pantry full of the kitschiest. This pantry, this is like the serving pantry where like all of the, the formal serving ware is supposed to go. And, like, you've got a crystal bowl here, but the rest of this seems like, I don't know, I would see this shit at Goodwill. This, these look like shelves from Goodwill. Here's the formal dining room, which confusingly has chairs off to the side just facing, just facing this picture here. I don't know what that's about. Um, we've got gigantic marble statues uh, they look like angels on in the middle of the dining table so you have to move those every time you want to eat here or else you just leave them and have statues between you and whoever you're trying to talk to this this seems again like like a an imitation of what you think a formal dining room is supposed to look like but then you're a little bit of a hoarder so you just have to put shit on every available surface um, look at this uh, on the the base of the fireplace there uh, these knickknacks are are in front of this picture so you can't really see the picture same with these ones over here uh, why is there a plate on the fireplace down here uh, oh god all right we've got our first bedroom and it's a nightmare it's the, we got Pictures crowding the wall, so many horse pictures, a dog picture. It's You couldn't have tidied up a little bit in here? Come on, you're having professional photographs taken. Clean your shit up. Um, it's all very dark. It's I mean, you got the dark wood wainscoting and this very dark green. Oh, we got a cross on the wall in case you weren't aware that you're in uh, Kentucky. We got this horse head just poking out of the wall here. Enough with the horses, Jesus Christ. Oh my God. This entire wall is dark wood and you still painted the rest of the wall a color that dark. Is this a child's room? Cause there's like stuffed animals in here, but then there's also this very formal desk. Is a child doing their homework at this desk? And if so, has the child started exhibiting the dark triad of psychopathic symptoms yet? Like this is, that's a, that is a game for a very small child, this weird little dog thing. That's like a toddler toy. I don't know who this room is for. There's a fireplace in here. Are you, or is this an adult who just has adult stuffed animals, which I mean, oh, okay, but you, you couldn't have taken them out for the pictures, no? I, I don't expect to see teddy bears and Roman-style busts in the same room. That's, it's confusing to me and I don't like it. Here we're in some sort of mini kitchen area. Uh, like a, this is like a break room that you would see in an office. 
But then I think this is that's I think that's a face cleaning thing. Why did you just leave that on the counter? You couldn't have stuck that in a drawer for the picture. And and there's this weird Keurig over here. I'm so confused. All right, here's another super formal room after some chaotic and not even clean rooms. Giant uh, pictures with gilt picture frames, except they're not on the same level because you've got a grate up here that you had to go around. And it looks like a, a light switch down here that you had to go around. And they're, they're such huge pictures that they just didn't fit symmetrically on the wall. That's fine. Another bedroom and more horses. Uh, oh, cat. Look, there's a cat. Hi, Mr. Cat. Again, we've got stuffed animals on the bed. But is this is this a child's room or not? It's not clear. Uh, well, the cat's got a cat tree in here. Maybe this is the cat's room. There, and there is, there's a cat bed on the bed. This entire room might be for the cat. I would not put that past these people. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna declare it. This is the cat's room. Um, the cat apparently also likes horses. They, they asked it. That, that dresser is all full of the cat's <laughs> outfits. And I assume this goes through to the cat's formal sitting room. Uh, in the cat's master suite. All right, we got a gigantic shower that is just. This is. It looks. It looks like a stage, like it's so exposed. You're you're like in a bubble taking a shower, um, and you've got multiple shower heads. You could fit. You could fit the whole football team in there. We got a. That's a. That's a hair dryer or like a. Like you would see in a salon. Uh, we got a, some pet dishes out here. We got animal lovers in this house. We got some very eccentric animal lovers. Big old bathtub. Uh, we got a vanity seat here. We got some cultural appropriation art on the window. We got this random, very extravagant couch just on the landing. Do you think anyone actually ever sits there? I don't think so. Uh, but there is there is a bookshelf here that seems to have actual books in it. So maybe maybe someone comes and reads books there. Uh, this is oh this is an art studio, and there's a picture of a cat and some cars. Uh, uh, this whole house, it's like an AI generated house. Like they they were just sticking random shit on the walls everywhere. Um, the, like the pictures don't even. These ones match, these ones don't. Uh, my whole heart for my whole life. What does that mean? I don't know. There's more stuffed animals. Um, this is like, this is like the, the hyper feminine counterpoint to the hyper masculine Kansas house. That's the vibe I'm getting. I, I like the, the little art studio thing. You got it by a window. It's, it's got bright colors. You got multiple colors going here. It's, uh, I, I wouldn't put a rug this nice in like an art studio area. That's not a choice that I would make. But otherwise, it's, I mean, it's a fun creative space. Yeah, this is, this is the other side of that room. We've got this very formal ornate desk. But again, the pictures are so crowded and, and chaotic. They're not even straight on the wall. Uh, these are different sizes, and that one doesn't really fit into that space. It, it really seems like people were just hacking stuff up wherever they wanted to. And knickknacks, it's so crowded. Look how close the backs of these chairs are together. How do you even walk through this space? You just got a box here. You couldn't have moved that out of the frame for the pictures. We got more stuffed animals. We got this TV from... My God, I haven't seen a TV like that since 1999. This is, okay, so this is a little bit separate from the the creative art space, I think. I'm, I'm confused by the layout here. You've just got a box for a, a computer monitor here. You, like, they did not even attempt to clean up. Or, or maybe they did, and this is as clean as it could get because these people were clearly hoarders. Uh, we've obviously got a bunch of degrees on the wall. Um, these look like law books, if I had to guess. Um, 
this looks like a legal library, so I'm guessing we've got a lawyer living here. Um, I would not want this lawyer to represent me if I knew that they lived like this and this was their chaotic life. That's a tool store. It <sighs> okay. There's 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 some layers to break down here. Um, the TV on this random rolling stand. This rolling stand is a tool cabinet that's supposed to be in like a garage for a mechanic. It's blocking this closet door. I am just baffled. There's why is this picture on the floor? You ran out of you ran out of wall space. You've crammed too many pictures in too many places that they didn't fit. And and you had one last picture and no place to put it. Jesus. <laughs> it's a giant horse. Of course, it's a giant stuffed horse because we got stuffed animals everywhere and we got horses everywhere. Of course, we have the stuffed horse. Uh, it's it's such a pink space and then all of the furniture is so ominous and like dark and intense. It's it's a very jarring combination. Um, I feel like the rug matches it well in some way. More, more of the horse. All right, we got another bathroom with another very nice bathtub with jets in it. Oh, here's the hallway that goes next to that chaotic sitting room. Um, we got, is that a stuffed, we got nutcracker. This is, I knew older women growing up like this who just had like stuffed bears and weird little knickknacks stashed throughout their house. There's there's a very specific personality that goes with this behavior. And the, the nutcracker, the ballerina, like all of the dolls and the snow globes. This is, this is when you are rich enough to hoard without looking like a hoarder. That's what this is. Got another bedroom with more art crammed into every little crevice. It's not even very good art. Like some of it is is obviously nice art and then some of it seems like they just wanted something to put in that. So, like that's hotel art, these, these flowers over here. Another stuffed animal, that one looks particularly haunted. Bathroom and this room looks a little large. Again, the, these paintings don't go together at all. The, the vibe on them is completely different. This is like a pastoral farm scene, and this is some sort of renaissance. I, I, I don't know that much about art, but I know that there's, there's a lot of people here. It's an interior scene. It's in a completely different artistic style. Uh, the serving bed, the serving trays on every bed that we've seen so far, that's, that's weird. And this very intense candle pillar. Oh, this, this wallpaper is much too much for a bathroom this small. I have vertigo and, and in com combination with the giant mirror, this is just vertigo inducing. We got James Dean on the wall. I don't think he wants to be in here. I think he's been nauseous since they hung him up. And then this room, this must be in a basement and we got a tile, black tile floor, which is probably smart for a basement. Um, this is a very intense thing to have hanging on the wall in, in a bedroom. This whole bedroom is just so, it's so long and what are these little figures? Are those, are those cultural appropriation figures? I think they might be. We've crammed a couch and a chair into a space and this desk into a space where they clearly don't fit because the chair is blocking part of the couch. Uh, we've got, this is all so mismatched. I mean, we got this giant metal sculpture hanging directly next to this. I, I've seen prints of this elephant picture and, and on, on Amazon, I think. Um, and then we got this full painting here. We got some Buddhas, which I've not gotten Buddha vibes from any other place in this house. Did they just decide that this was like the exotic room with these little Chinese stone figures, whatever this bell is? Oh, God. And another basement room with just a, a cultural mishmash here. These, I think, are supposed to be indigenous artworks, but I'm not sure. Um, this looks like it was 
you know, stolen from some culture somewhere. This is a picture of the house. What even is this room? There's just random chairs and tables. Oh, oh, we've got a billiards table. If your mansion doesn't have a billiards table, are you really rich? And we got some archways through to a more formal sitting area. We got foosball uh, because while we are, you know, keeping up with the, the rich people standard of the billiards table, we are in fact still in Kentucky. So we need the foosball table to frat it up a bit. All right, looks like we got a full bar down here uh, with some sitting areas around it. I guess that's kind of a fun um, hangout area in the basement. We've got a blown up version of that same elephant picture from the room, but it's just a portion of it. We've got a zebra and then we've got a little Italian pizza man. What? I'm... Pick a theme, people. There, there's no coherence here. Everything is just mashed together. They just buy a new piece of shit and find an open corner to stick it in. We got another elephant under this bowl. We got a very pink bathroom, my God. I think we are still in the basement, but it looks like we might have a cut into the earth sort of thing so that this goes out onto a patio, maybe. Is, is that... Is that the same zebra from before? I think that's a separate zebra. We've got more mismatched art, not even hung at the same level. Um, no, no attempt even at hanging this at a coherent level. Um, can lights in the ceiling. Um, I, I'm not going to forgive the can lights in the ceiling this time because this entire house is a nightmare. These people, I remind you, these people own a $12.5 million house. They can afford an interior designer, but instead they live like this. This is a gigantic TV on a too small table. This is the most ornate sectional couch I've ever seen in my life. That's, it's almost comedic because it's like... It's a sectional couch. It's a sectional couch, but you're trying to make it look classy. Too many knickknacks on this table. Uh, too many knickknacks in this house. And just the nest of wires down here. This is why you get an entertainment system. This is why you don't just put the TV on a table like this, because that looks like shit. Right, that's, I mean, that's a nice piece of furniture. They've got a lot of nice furniture in here. It's all just so chaotically put together. And, and tastelessly crammed into different corners with, with no sense of rhyme or reason. We got a workout room with a life-sized cutout of Michael Jordan. Yes! Oh my God, we really are in the 90s now. I, I grew up in the Chicago area in the 90s. Everyone had this life-sized cutout of Michael Jordan. Everyone had that. We got a good diversity of equipment in here. It looks like we got a foosball table so you can really work out your wrist. And we got, this isn't, this isn't quite a uh, formal movie theater, but this is obviously a dedicated uh, movie watching area. We got our little kitschy popcorn home goods picture on the wall and then the chairs with the cup holders. Uh, this, these chairs are supposed to go in a home theater. Uh, but they just have this little corner of the basement that they popped them in, you know, right next to this desk that's in a hallway at random. This house is gigantic. Why is everything so crowded? Just, like, throw a few pieces of, get rid of a few pieces of furniture and this entire house will make so much more sense. There's just way too much crammed into this house. Got another bathroom. This is probably the most normal looking bedroom we've seen so far. And I don't know if it's actually normal looking or if I've just been desensitized by the absolute absurdity of the rest of the place. We've got some, some you know, home goods style art here. Um, the, the bordering on this, this ceiling inset here, I think I like that. But again, my, my entire brain has been just decimated. 
Um, we got, is that a bar cart with a Keurig on it? I mean, it's still the most normal room, but that's not normal. Um, and you didn't need two of these pictures. The door opens up over this picture. That's not supposed to happen. If the door opens up over the picture, you don't need a picture there. Look at this shit. This is such a, cr this is the rich people version of goat trails through a hoarder house. Okay. Why are there saddles and horse statues and all, like, can you imagine how threatening it must feel to walk down this hallway? We got some outdoor space. Uh, the, not really well taken care of. That could use another coat of paint. We've got a very nice grill set up, it looks like. And this nice little covered seating area. I mean, this, I imagine, is very pleasant. You know, it gets hot in Kentucky. You don't want to be out in the sun all the time. Um, this is probably, the outdoors is, is hands down the nicest space in this entire house. The indoors is a nightmare. The outdoors could be very nice, but it's obviously not been taken care of very well. Uh, we got two sitting areas, but you know, that's, that's fine. I'm giving it a pass because all, and you know what? I've whined so much about houses having too much white. This is soothing to me at this point. I, my blood pressure is up from being in that house and, and I am just basking in this white. I just wish they would fucking clean and paint this wall. Oh, we got a third sitting area. We have three sitting areas in a row. That's fine. That's fine. I'm giving it to you. Here's the stables. I assume because you don't have that much horse shit on your walls and not have actual horses. Oh, they got quite a lot. Can you imagine living in a place where you have actual live horses that you can ride anytime you want? You'd have to take care of them. You're like out spending all sorts of time with these horses. And you're like, you know what I would really like to look at when I go inside at night? I would like to look at more horses all the time, every wall, no matter where I turn, it's a horse. Good Lord. All right. Here's all the stables, the outside. That's, I mean, it's a huge property, gigantic property. Um, wow. This is, you know, I've, I've only really passed through Kentucky before and the only building I've ever been in in Kentucky was a, a diner operating out of a trailer and I really enjoyed it. I did like the, I did like the trailer diner. Um, combining the aesthetics of the trailer diner with what I know about rich people, this is about what I ex would expect from a, a rich people house in Kentucky. Um, I love that they advertise this as like, oh, such an architecturally interesting house. It's, it's fine. It's a McMansion. Um, and the interior decor is fully unhinged. Like, this is someone who never had anyone say no to them before in their life. And there was no one in their life who was like, maybe you have enough pictures of horses. Maybe you don't need two zebra statues. You know what? Everyone needs a friend in their life who will watch the, you know, go with them to Home Goods and be like, don't buy that. You don't need to buy that. You've got enough shit on every surface of your home. Don't buy it. That's, those are your real friends and you need to cherish them. Uh, and, and that is what this person, uh, was, was really missing. And that's, that's why the chat, the title of this channel is you can't buy taste because you can't buy a friend that will go with you to home goods and say, no, uh, if you know of, uh, Kentucky culture and can verify that this is uh, emblematic of it, I would love to hear from you. Uh, if you've noticed anything you think I missed, feel free to leave a comment. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and have a good one.